so this project was just a proof of concept I did. Um, I got to make a cool uh, fold down desk or flip down desk for work and uh, I just wanted to make sure I had these joints and how the tolerance is good for these hinges because uh, it's all just press fit and the uh, so I made this proof of concept this back panel um, this one is actually in my shop it's just holding um, it's holding the collets for our CNC router so um, that's what that is what is it 20 collets it holds plus I got some tools that fit down in the front down here but anyways I you know one of the cool things about um, not this one particularly but when you get to design things is designing it for change so um, I'm gonna make another one of these where there's a slot in the top and this back panel actually can slide up and out and that way I can leave the box on my slot board wall and then just replace actually what gets stored inside the boxes so um, but in order to do that I want to make different uh, inserts so this board here the backboard so um, you know I could copy that into the same file but what I'd rather do is just actually um, save out save this one part out of this assembly and then um, just have it in its own design file that I can change and modify and just retain the exterior dimensions of it. So uh, I'm going to do that and in order to save uh, a part from your design into the data panel, so over to here, all you have to do is um, highlight that part, right click it, and then save copy as. So this is going to make a new design file um, wherever you want to put it. I'm going to go ahead and put this in um, let's go shop projects we'll call this um, storage box insert So then once that saves, I can come up here and see, I'll just refresh that, and there you have it. It's, it's a new design file, and then I can start opening that up and making different versions with different um, slots in it to hold different things.